In order to install plugins to our FreeNAS server, we'll need to create what's called a jail, which is essentially a small virtualized FreeBSD environment running within FreeNAS. To do so, open up one of your drives, in this case I'm using my media drive, and create two folders. I'm going to call one jail and one software. I put these inside a plugins folder just to keep everything organized, but you can put them wherever you want. Now head to the FreeNAS web interface and go to the storage section. Make sure the drive that you put those folders on has the correct permissions for plugins. In this case, that means I need read and execute permissions for the other group. Set the permissions recursively if you don't already have the permissions set that way like I did. And now we can create our jail. To do so, head down to Services, Plugins, Management, Settings. I'm just going to place the temporary PBI file on my media drive, set my plugins jail path to the jail folder I created earlier, and set the plugins archive path to the software folder I created earlier. Then you'll need to give your jail a name, I just named it software and an IP address. This has to be a different IP address than your NAS is currently running on, or any other computer on your network for that matter. So I just gave it this IP address. Give it a net mask, this is pretty typical, and click Upload Jail PBI. You'll need to download the correct PBI from the FreeNAS SourceForge page for your specific version of FreeNAS and upload it. This will take a few minutes and when it's done, you can head to Services, Control Services, and flip the plugin switch to On. Now you're ready to actually start installing plugins. We're going to use the Transmission BitTorrent plugin as an example. Head to Install Plugins and choose the PBI file, which again you've downloaded from either the SourceForge page or elsewhere on the internet, and click Upload. You should see that it shows right up. Now before we turn it on, we're going to have to do a few extra things first. Open up a shell using the option in the FreeNAS sidebar and type JLS. This will give you the JID of your currently running jail. Then run this command, replacing the number with the JID of your jail. We're going to make a directory called BT Downloads in the jails user folder. Now head to Plugins, Management, Mount Point, and add a mount point. Essentially what we're doing here is linking the user BT downloads folder we just created within the jail to the downloads folder on our media drive outside the jail. That way when transmission downloads a file, it puts it in the BT downloads folder, which puts it in the downloads folder on our drive. Click OK, and then head back to the shell. Now this step is only really necessary for some plugins like Transmission. Usually you'll be able to just go turn it on now. But we need to go back to the shell, run JLS again and JEXEC back into our jail, and change a few permissions. We're going to use the chown command to change the permissions for our BT downloads folder. In most cases, you're going to want to use the user ID 1001, but in my case, I'm using 1000 since I changed it earlier. And we're going to chmod that folder as well. Now we're ready to start tweaking transmission and get it up and running. Head to the sidebar, click the transmission option, and change your download directory to the user bt downloads folder we created earlier. I also recommend checking the RPC authorization box and giving yourself a username and password so other people can't access the transmission web interface. And when you're done, you can tweak any other BitTorrent related settings you like. I usually like to require encryption, but all of this is up to you. When you're done, flip that transmission switch to on and you will be up and running. Head up to your address bar, type in the IP of your jail and the port number, in this case 9091. Type in the username and password we just entered for transmission, and you should be greeted with the transmission web interface. Now you can add torrents, watch them download, and grab them right from your NAS drive when you're ready to go. 
Not all plugins are gonna follow this exact same procedure. Some of them are gonna be slightly different, but this is just one example. Head to the guide on Lifehacker below for a few other examples of plugins you might want to install, as well as a link to a list of plugins available for FreeNAS currently. Now the world is pretty much your oyster. You can download any plugin, install it to FreeNAS, and basically turn that home server into whatever you want it to be. Good luck.